when you are left with nothing our air dispersion is deteriorating he is desaturating there is hypoxemia which is refractory to all available methods in medical science that you have discussed till now we are left with what you call as extra corporeal membrane oxygenation or ecmo so today we'll discuss the concept behind it the idea of ecmo how it works so here we have our the right heart and to the right heart the superior vena cava brings blood from the upper part of the body and the inferior vena cava brings blood from the lower part of the body and they are deposited in the right side of the heart in the right ventricle and from the right ventricle the blood goes via the pulmonary artery then it goes to the pulmonary capillaries and then via pulmonary vein it reaches the left side of the heart and while it is in the pulmonary capillaries gas exchange happens right so this is the lungs so the air from outside comes to the lungs right in the alveoli then there is gas exchange the oxygen comes inside carbon dioxide washes out then the oxygenated blood so you can write it here this is the deoxygenated blood coming here in a normal person that deoxygenated blood is oxygenated here using the lung then the oxygenated blood comes to the left side of the heart is the left ventricle and from the left ventricle via the aortic distribution the blood goes to the upper extremity and to the lower extremity then again it distributes in the capillaries in the peripheries then via when it again comes to the right heart right so this is how a normal heart works now what happens in at this present the lungs is not working properly so lungs now it cannot maintain the homeostasis that is required to maintain a sustainable life it cannot do the function of either oxygenation or ventilation the ECMO principle is we have to do the work via extracorporeal machine extracorporeal means out of the body so out of the body we put a machine that is called the ECMO machine this is the ECMO scenario because your left heart is working fine so if you can take out the blood from the body the deoxygenated blood and oxygenate it remove the carbon dioxide outside of the body using a ECMO machine then put the oxygenated blood into the right heart from there it can go to the left heart in the same method now it is not dependent upon the lungs for gas exchange so the left heart now can distribute that oxygenated blood the whole body so this is the principle of ECMO machine so what happens is from right ventricle via the pulmonary artery blood goes to the capillary it's called pulmonary capillary in the pulmonary capillary here the lung what it does it gives oxygen to the blood and remove carbon dioxide right then via the pulmonary vein it comes to the left heart right and from the left heart it goes to the whole body the upper body and the lower body here is in the right ventricle blood comes from the sbc and the ivc due to some reason the lung is not working so because the lung is not working so you are left with a system where although the blood is flowing it is not able to maintain the homeostasis of oxygenation there is no maintenance of oxygenation ventilation that means oxygen input carbon dioxide removal and maintenance of a sustainable ph so these three things are not maintained now because the lungs is not working the human think tank now works like that if the lungs is not working can you have a machine which can do the work of the lung and that machine is called the ecmo which will do the work of lung specifically this is called veno venous ecmo what does it mean that means we take the blood from vein give the blood to the vein because the heart is working so we can take the blood from a vein and put the blood to a vein and that will go via the pulmonary artery capillary vein to the left heart which can contact very nicely so it's called veno venous ecmo so this is how the ecmo technique works so let us see what are the components of ecmo as i've discussed we will take the blood from one vein and put it on another vein because the heart is working we do not have to put it in an artery you can put it in a vein 
and that vein will carry the blood via the right ventricle to the left heart and it can be distributed so usually when you do a femoral femoral approach femoral is one vein another femoral is another vein this is a v v ecmo femoral femoral approach what you do let's say we take the deoxygenated blood from the right femoral vein and we use a pump to take the blood out of the vein we have to create a negative pressure so that the blood can be sucked out so this is called a pump right so in ECMO machine the pump works as heart here we have a motor that is revolution per minute it creates a negative pressure so the blood can be sucked out principal function of the lung is oxygenation and removal of carbon dioxide so there is another machine through which the blood has to go that is called the oxygenator right so this is the oxygenator it contains a membrane right through which the diffusion of oxygen and carbon dioxide will take place so that is from a blender so we have a blender in which there are air supply and oxygen supply so it decides it determines the fio2 how much fio2 you want to give to our patient so from here the oxygen will come and travel through the oxygenator while it is traveling and also the blood is traveling right so here the gas action will happen right and the carbon dioxide will be removed and oxygen will be put inside the blood the so deoxygenated blood or the dark red blood will come here and it will get oxygenated and bright red blood will come out of the oxygenator right then again because it is not a human body or a human system which is regulated inside because the blood is coming to outside it is in connection with various artificial tubings and all so it is the intrinsic tendency to clot so we have to use heparin heparin is a must 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 otherwise blood will clot in on its way and it, it can clog the system and decrease the efficiency so heparin has to be given so that is the reason why if you cannot give heparin to a patient that serves as a relative contraindication to ecmo right so we have to put heparin into the system so that the blood remain fluid throughout at the same time because it's coming outside it will lose its heat so we have to use a heat exchanger here before we put the blood again into the body right so now the blood is oxygenated it is heated it remains clot free because of heparin and carbon dioxide has been washed out so now this oxygenated blood we can put it into the right heart from where it will go to the left heart using the pulmonary artery capillary and vein without needing the work of lung then the left heart can distribute the oxygenated blood to various organs so this is how we ecmo work this is the principle of ecmo machines so let us see the diagram so we take the blood let's say from the right femoral vein we take the d oxygenated blood we will take that using a pump in the pump we have a motor we set the revolution per minute so this pump create a negative pressure to shut the blood out of the body so this works as a heart then the blood goes to a oxygenator in the oxygenator what happens oxygen is put in carbon dioxide is taken out and from where this oxygen comes they come from what is called as a blender there is a air oxygen blender from here the oxygen goes it is called a sweep gas because it will sweep away the carbon dioxide while oxygenating the blood right so from here and before that here we have to heparinize so the blood remains fluid and the system remains patent otherwise there will be thrombus and the system's efficiency will decrease so once the blood is oxygenated it will be warmed we can put it back in the left by the left femoral vein it will go to the right heart from there it will go to the left heart and here there will be no lung will be there but it will not do any work lung is diseased 
so we will give time to the lung to recovery at the same time we can utilize the oxygenated blood to be supplied to the whole body right so this is how a ecmo circuit works we take the blood from right femoral vein if it is a femoral femoral we can take the blood from the jugular also and put back it via the femoral whatever you can do it's our choice if you take the blood from a femoral vein via a pump which creates a negative pressure using a motor now that blood is heparinized and put into the oxygenator where the gas action happens and the blender provides the oxygenation or FIA to it this is called the sweep gas right and once the oxygenation process and carbon dioxide removal process is done it is put through a heat exchanger and the heated oxygenated blood is now put into the right heart from where it goes to the left heart and from there it can be distributed throughout the body this is how the ECMO machine works while the ECMO machine works will give the purpose is to give the disease lung a chance to recovery so here we can practice what we call as ultra low lung protective ventilation because majority of the work is done by the ECMO machine we can give as little as tidal volume to the lung with a moderate amount of PEEP so that the lung is minimally involved in gas exchange so that there is time for the lung to recover this is the principle of ECMO machine so in the next class we'll discuss what are the indications of ECMO and what are the things that you have to take care while you put our patient on ECMO thank you very much